All right. The second question is a block of mass, one kg, moving with a speed of four meters per second, collides with another block of mass two kg, uh, which is initially at rest. Um, after the collision, the lighter mass comes to rest. What is the loss in kinetic energy of the system? So this one is straightforward. The first thing that you need to do, as I said, you first collect the data. So they are saying a block of mass one kg uh, moves or moving with a speed of um, four meters per second. So the first thing when you're solving any physics question, you have to collect what is known as the data. It's important. So the first thing you have to collect the data. So the first thing that we've been given there is M1. So M1 has been given to be one kg. And then the other thing is we've been given V1 as, uh, as well, which is also at four meters per second. So the importance of collecting data when you're solving any phys physics equation is that it will help you to know the equations, the right equations that you are going to use. So the other thing is um, uh, we've been given M2, which is um, um, which is um, two kg, and then V2 has not been given. So we leave this as a question mark. So from the data that we've been given here, we know that we can use the conservation of momentum. So the conservation of momentum is simply just M1 times V1 is equal to M2 times V2. So the momentum before collision and the momentum after collision are supposed to be equal. So this is what uh, it means. Hence, we can plug in the values. So the momentum before collision, we have M1 and V1 there, which is one times four. And then after collision, we have two times um, V2. So we're going to have four is equal to two V2. When you divide by two, divide by two, our V2 becomes uh, two meters per second. So the question is asking us to calculate um, uh, the loss in uh, kinetic energy of the system. But remember, yeah, so remember kinetic energy is uh, simply, um, yeah, so kinetic energy is simply given by, we know to say the formula for kinetic energy is half mv squared. Now, since they are asking us to find the loss, meaning we're going to find the change in the kinetic energy. So the change in the kinetic energy is simply just going to be, uh, whenever you see del, delta, this symbol there, it means that uh, you're subtracting the initial from the final. It's a change there. So we're going to have half m1 v1 um, uh, squared minus half m2 v2 squared. So when you do the subtraction there, we'll get one m1 is one v is v1 is four and then we say minus half m2 is uh, two and then v2 we found it to be two we square that so when you sub when you do the calculations there uh four squared is 16 16 divided by two you're getting eight and then we say minus uh, this is be four times two, that would be eight, eight divided by two, that would be four. So you subtract eight minus four, you're getting the change in the kinetic energy to be four joules. So this is the solution for this question. Okay. So this one, I'm sure it's a bit straightforward. Maybe we can move on to the next one. <clears throat> 